Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iPad apps that will make your iPad more useful. These are apps that will add like extra features to your iPad, features that you cannot get with the stock iPad OS apps or with the stock features of your iPad on iPad OS 13. So before I get started, I just want to ask you guys to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and here are 10 apps that will make your iPad more useful. Starting off with the first app, of course, it has to be a calculator app. I don't know what Apple is doing, but they are not adding the calculator app to the iPad. And I don't know the reason behind it, but it's really, really weird. We have a calculator app on the Apple Watch and not on the iPad. But anyways, of course, you can get a ton of them from the App Store, and this is one of the best that you can get. It's called the Calculator, and it offers a bunch of cool features. Now, of course, it has a ton more features than the Calculator app on iOS. Now, first of all, you will see here a simple calculator right here at the left side. You will have the history of all the calculations that you have done, and that's really really useful so basically you will see here the basic calculator will have a back button right there that's really useful as well and then you will have a scientific calculator right here so you can see the tabs right here now most of the features are free there are some paid as well that you can purchase but you will you can also try them for free then you will have here currency converter so you will have the currency converter here which is really useful as well so you can see i have there like 99 free calculations left so this is a paid feature if you want to get unlimited you will have to pay for it so you just go here and basically choose any of the currencies that you want you can search them right there and you can use the calculator app to convert currencies that's really awesome as well and then you will have fraction here as well so this is one is very very useful and of course you will have customizations so you can apply like different themes to your calculator and that's really cool as well so you can see if we go here we have that other theme so the missing calculator app of the ipad the calculator this one is very useful and of course it has a ton of features to offer the next app for the video is called Gladys. Now this one is a very useful app. It allows us to basically move stuff from an app to another. So how it works is that you can basically the best use it as an app card. So if I'm on the photos app here, I can go ahead and open this app as a card here. So now I have it here. I want to move a picture somewhere else. I can just go ahead, tap on it. I can drag it and place it here on this app now when i go out of here I i'm on the notes i'm compose composing a note here and i want to add that picture all i gotta do is bring back this app and just drag the picture from there to the note so as easy as that so let me just go ahead and type a note here so i can go ahead and drag any image just like that from the app to the notes so as easy as that just drag things even the note i can take the note and I can go ahead and save it here on the app. And then if I need this note somewhere else, I can go ahead and of course use that on any app. Just drag it from this app to any other one and you will be able to use it as easy as that. So you can see you can have all your stuff there and you can basically just use it to move stuff, documents, pictures or anything from app to app. The next app for the video is called Simple Transfer. This one is my favorite when it comes to moving pictures or videos from the iPad to the PC or from the PC to the iPad. It is very easy to use, just install the free app, go to your browser on your computer, just enter this IP address right there and you will be able to browse your full library of pictures and videos and download them, any one of them from your iPad to your PC. Of course, you need to have both your PC and your iPad both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. You can of course also upload any pictures or videos you want and they will be saved under the camera roll of your iPad. It's as easy as that and this is one is very useful, especially if you don't have a computer with a USB Type-C connector then that you need for the iPad, then this one will be very useful. You can wirelessly tra transfer pictures or videos between your computer and your iPad. The next app for the video is called Slides and this one is from Google. It allows you to easily create any slides you want like for a presentation or anything that you need. 
you just go ahead open the app tap the plus button and you can start a new presentation or you can choose a template right here so it has a bunch of templates that you can use and of course then you can go ahead and edit them and add your information that you need for your presentation or anything that you need so once it loads it you can see you will have the full thing here you will have all the slides and then of course you can go ahead and edit anything here so anything like where is text you double tap on it and you will be able to edit that text so you will have all the tools right there at the top and of course right here you can tap to add like extra slides so you can see here a bunch of like you can add a blank blank one or you can add any of these templates very useful very very easy to use as well the next app for the video is called duolingo and it allows you to learn new languages using your ipad so once you open the app you need to set it up so choose which language you want to learn so let's choose spanish here and just wait for the setup that you need like to set at the beginning in order to learn the language easier so let's just go ahead and while you're learning that language so let's just say travel here and then pick your goal so let's say 15 minutes a day continue continue here okay allow the notifications and now you're good to go you can go ahead and just basically start learning a different language so any language you choose from the list there you can see like which one of these is the man so basically it allows you to choose like from these pictures that way it learned it basically will learn you the language easier of course having all these pictures and all that and of course showing here the translation will help you like memorize stuff faster so as easy as that you can learn like different things how you can say like different names and all that in another language and that's really really useful the next app for the video is called film r and this is a video editing app and it has a ton of features to offer of course way more features than iMovie which you can get on your iPad. Hopefully someday Apple will also add Final Cut to the iPad. So right here is the app. You can of course add your videos right here and then above here we'll have all the like different tools. You can add videos of course but you can also add music, you can add text, you can draw like on your videos. You can of course like add like over like videos overlays like picture in picture and all that and then you can also choose the format right there in which format you want to save that video so here of course you will have like the usual tools you can crop your video and all that tapping right there it will show you all this stuff right here like you can change the speed the volume you can add filters you can add effects you can reverse rotate split copy anything you want now once you're done of course you can tap the save button right there to export the video basically the features that are here are very very useful and of course you can do a lot this is like a full video editing app like you get on your pc but now on your ipad the next app for the video is called PDF Element and this is a PDF editing app with a ton of features like add annotations, edit the text of a PDF file or even sign or add different logos to any PDF that you want. Now this is like the home screen of the app where you can add new PDFs from your camera, your Wi-Fi or your clouds and this is the local folder right here. So here we have a PDF file so let's just go ahead and try to edit this. So first of all if you tap on the second button right there you will be able to edit the text of any PDF file. So just like that you can go ahead and edit that text. You can type anything you want here of course and delete anything you want. If you tap on the first one right there you will have all the text tools like you can add different logos if you tap on the stamp right there. Let's just go ahead you can add this one. Just place it anywhere you want you can basically just drag that like object and place it anywhere you want or if you tap here you can go ahead and sign your pdf of course you can save one of your signatures right there and then just quickly add it anywhere you want or of course anytime you want to change it you can go ahead and delete this one and add another one now when it comes to editing pictures on your iPad, you can of course edit them using the stock features of the Photos app like the stock editing tools of the Photos app on your iPad. But with Lightroom, you will have like a really really powerful photo editing app with anything you want. So here I have a picture I have here on the right side 
all the stuff that I can use to edit this picture. So you can see from the shadows to the highlights, to blacks, to whiteness, all that stuff, the color here, everything can be edited with this app. Lightroom, of course, very, very easy. So you can basically customize like in any way you want any picture that you want. And it's really powerful. As you can see, you will have like a ton of tools right here, like from cropping to editing effects, anything you want can be done with this app. The next app for the video is called Universal Remote and the reason I'm putting this app on this video is because we usually keep our iPads inside of our homes. Like 95% of the time you will have your iPad on your house, you don't usually take it out so you're on the living room, you're using your iPad, you're working something, you're watching something on it, you want to control your TV, you don't have to get up and grab your TV remote, you can do that from the from the iPad using this free app called Universal Remote. And as you can see, you will have all the controls here from the volume to the programs to the numbers there. You will have the menu here, you can mute your TV, and of course you will have the play pause button, all that, and of course you can also turn off your TV directly from here. Now all you gotta do is just tap here and just click start scan. Now once you start scanning, it will show you the TVs that are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your iPad and you will be able to connect to that and just control it using your iPad. And last but not least, is like a fun app but it's useful at the same time it's called dj and it basically allows you to turn into a dj so you're having like a home party or you just want to use this like to practice or just for fun dj is the must have app so all you gotta do is just tap right there and you will be able to load your music so currently i don't have any on my ipad here but let's just go ahead and try some demo tracks right here so you just tap to load one of the tracks and you can of course load it right here and then you can use basically both of the decks here it's really really cool like it's pretty fun playing around with this and it's also useful as well like as i said if you're having like a party at your home or you just want to have fun or maybe you're a dj and just want to practice something you can do that using this free app called dj so that is it for this video guys these are 10 apps that will make your ipad more useful, of course, adding extra features to your iPad. Features that you won't get with iPad OS 13 and the stock apps of iPad OS 13. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this one. And if you want to download any of these apps, make sure you check out the pinned comment. You will find there all the links for these apps. Again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.